Welcome back, everybody, to another AoE2DE custom campaign. Uh, this time we're doing another uh, Shimikaze campaign. I believe that's who Kitty568 or whatever uh, the name is. But yeah, this is going to be Stefan Dushan of Serbia. And we're going to start with Velbazd. Uh, 1371, John Charisinaita's Monastery. When I first came to this monastery, I didn't notice anything different. At this time, the door of the monastery hall was empty, and there was only an old man sitting in the corner, looking at the books in his hand. When I finished my prayer, I was about to leave. He stopped me. I don't seem to have seen you before, young man. Take the liberty to ask, where are you from? I am from Serbia, sir. Thanks to the goddamn war. I've got almost nothing but here to find my uncle and make a living. Alas, if our emperor Stefan Dushan was still around. The old man laughed. Stefan Dushan, young man, so how much do you know about this guy? The attitude of the old man made me a little unhappy, so I responded. Perhaps you are used to living in the backcountry and don't know anything about uh, the great achievements of his majesty Stefan. The hero of our Serbia. Just today I have the time to introduce you. His legend from the Battle of Velbazd. Good old Velbazd. I hope I have a doubt unique unit. It builds castles only to 99% and then dies. Okay. My son, Andronoknikos Palaigos, intends to join the Bulgarians and invade Serbian territory. These two guys act in collusion with each other, and we're going to do something. Uh, see what you mean, but right now the Bulgarian army is stronger. Wallachia, Basrab, is really ignorant of current affairs. How can we Wallachia participate in the civil strife of the Eastern Roman Empire? Um, okay. Uh, so we're going to do stuff. Ooh, we're playing in Cyan of La Stella. Has more HP than a knight by five. One less attack and one less melee armor. I wonder if it ignores armor like a latus. All right, take Stefan Dusan and meet the noble Jovan Oliver at. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Grishnik. Grishnich. Grishnich. At the beginning, please pay attention to the flashing on the map so you can quickly find your base. After taking over the base, if you want to attack Velbazd, you must prepare enough troops, otherwise it is easy to fail. Um, besides, you can also attack Bulgaria from the other directions, but then uh, Michael Austin III will sense your intentions and take over Velbazd. You can pay to hire the Catalan Company, and there's uh, Stefan Urosh III. Okay, so repairing... Um, uh, against the combined forces of Bulgaria and Wallachia. We're not strong enough to confront Bulgaria. In this campaign, you'll play as the Slurves. The Slurves. Yes, the Serbs and the Slavs. They're the Slurves. Uh, it uses most of the Slav tech tree, but also has unique techs and units of its own. You can train the Serbian unique uh, Vlastelas at the castle, who has the ability of high pierce armor and can tear through enemies' armor, and Jupons in the stable, who deal additional damage to siege weapons. However, heavy cav archers and siege archers cannot be trained, and like the poles, you have the ability to generate gold when mining stone. And the 200 pop cap in all scenarios. Okay, I'll see if I can remember that. Uh, we'll attack the main force. Uh, okay. Bulgarian army. Uh, Byzantines are not in the battle. Okay, the Byzantines are just kind of supporting sides. Michael Austin the Third, the Catalan Company. Uh, there's the Wallachian Army, Velbaz, and the Bulgarians. Okay. Got Stefan Dushan. I, I, at least I think that's how the, the S with the little uh, chevron is, is like a sh sound, like an SH sound. Good luck. Well, thank you, Gatekeeper. I appreciate that. Wait, where am I going? Yeah, I totally forgot. I thought I was going to the north of the map, but that doesn't seem right anymore. Because 
Brick lasagna. We're going back to the good old brick lasagna civilizations. Do you tell me where to go? Well, all I can do is strike out. I want to join. Well, thank you, mountain folk. It's so good to have a slightly better militia unit on our side. Well, we'll be sure to scout around. So we are in the castle age. Here's Velbajd. Vel Velbajd. Wait, I thought he was our enemy. Oh, the gate's locked. <laughs> Guys, I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna level with you. I'm kind of clueless. Everyone's our ally. Because who would want to be their, our enemy? We're so friendly. Didn't it say... Flashing on the map. Oh, easy. Easy. So easy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Now they're our enemy. Um... Enemies ready to ex um Okay, hold up. Hold up. We have a half hour to do something. Uh, Stefan Urosh must not be defeated and can call the defenders in Velbazd. Meet the leader of the Catalan Company. Uh yeah, we're so peace loving guys. We're the most peace loving. Okay, um, We'll go ahead and meet the Catalan Company. There's a relic. So much stone we have access to. Kind of sad that we don't have a treadmill crane anymore. Probably gonna make a lot of use of it. Oh, you have a lot of other objectives. Oh my goodness. Kill the Bulgarian Tsar. Destroy Pergia Castle at Zemen. Kill the Voivod of Wallachia Basarab I. Destroy the two castles of the Wallachian army in Dubnis Dubnitsa. Okay, well, here's the dude. And here are the, the Wallachians. That's right. We're the Catalan Company. And we're awesome. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and pick up coinage. I think coinage is worth it if you just... Wait. Did... Stefan Urosh, what the hell? Okay, so the Vlastella's pretty expensive. Have higher pierce armor, and they tear through armor. So they're kind of like Latus. Um, but yeah, 500 gold, I believe, is the tipping point for whether or not uh, it's worth it to pick up coinage. Anyway, back to booming. All right. Catalan Company. Almo. Huh. Wait, let's see what these guys do. These guys don't have more pierce armor. Okay, they only have three range, but they ignore armor. 
I guess that's like our thing, is just ignoring armor. Which is good, because I ignore objectives, and I'm sure it's a very similar principle. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take over Velbajd, because why not? We have a pretty huge army. Oh, uh, we are going to need to build some more houses. Uh, the, the Jupons seem kind of just like light cab with um, less HP and one more attack, which isn't really that much. Anyway, I imagine this is going to be a more cavalry-centric Bulgarian, or not Bulgarians, um, Slavs. Since we don't have siege monitors, uh, Orthodoxy Fortress. Okay, I guess we just ignore armor with this sieve. It, wait, what does it say? Plus one range in the castle and tower ignores armor except versus siege weapons. Well, we don't have Bracer, so that, that pretty much just makes up for not having Bracer. Anyway, how are we doing there? I hope we face a lot of Teutons in this campaign. With all the armor ignoring that we're going to do. Okay, well... Running a little low on dudes. I mean, I'll, I'll make these guys because they're cool and they're new. And they still have, uh, you know, seed trams and stuff. And I assume they're cheaper. I don't have a seed workshop, but we'll we'll check that out, of course. Can I click, please? Thank you. Let's get that, I suppose. Uh, let's wait to get a few more dudes. Oh, A is their hotkey for some reason. Oh yeah, so does the Catalan company just help us out now? Yeah, they, they've got some stuff. Could be worse. You can I just terraform this little village over here? It's gonna take some getting used to, though. I guess we'll just have these guys do some hunting. Now, there isn't a ton of room with which to work here in the mountains and stuff. So we're going to have to find a way to develop our like military infrastructure in good locations. Let's go capture the city. Oh, wait. You have one more armor. I just realized. Uh, this seems like a good enough spot for a castle. That's yeah, just those few ones left. Oh, come on, there's like barely any. What's your hotkey? Do you have one? You don't have one.
Come on, we just need a few more dudes. Um, I wonder if we still get Drujana. Oh, awesome. Mercenaries at the mercenary station? Oh, and we also have Imperial Age researched for us. That's nice. I'll certainly take that willingly. Wait, that, was, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like Imperial Age stuff. Oh, that's a galleon. Elite Vlastella. Okay, so uh, let's see. Try to protect the Catalan Company. Destroy the two forts across the Sh Strumra River where the circle flashes. Okay, they're just condos. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I hit my mic. Um, so I guess we can go about this in a few different ways. These guys are the closest. Okay, you. Oh, what's this thing? Hi. Spearmen and Jupons attack by four. Ooh, we can get some six swordsmen. Alrighty, kids. Alrighty. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Still just trying to figure out all this stuff. Okay, so we still get the Slavs discount even if we don't get Siege on Inger anymore. But that's honestly kind of okay because Siege on Inger's and campaigns aren't very good normally. Just with AI micro and how it's mostly, you know, units being spammed at each other. Oh wait, does that mean I don't get Drusina anymore though? That's a little unfortunate. Oh, let's get you guys. Okay, so we have a lot of armor, a little bit less attack, a bit less HP than a paladin, for instance. Oh wait, no, now we have our unique tech hen. Okay, now we're just like insane. Like some of these guys, just for funsies. Okay. Can I build crap posts? No, I can't. I just have to get them at these things. That's okay. Okay, uh, that's the Wallachian army. What's their hockey? T. I need, I'm going to need to get used to these hotkeys, man. No room. That's going to be unfortunate because I normally use S as my hotkey for scouts. be going down. That's a lot of siege rams. Come on. Oh, it wasn't even close, man. Not even close. Okay, now to push forward. Now, unfortunately, I don't think the Sif has Bombard Towers, which is, you know, 
All campaigns have their shortcomings, right? Just like I say in the tier list videos, and no campaign's perfect. Anyway, we've got sick hussars with the, the Zupons. Oh, come now. I really don't want to have to deal with cannon galleons. <laughs> On a list of things I feel like dealing with right now, cannon galleons are not very high up. Okay, there is relic. A relic and some golden stone over there. I don't know if we'll actually need it. Oh yeah, these guys have crazy good attack. Okay. Let's get you guys to work. Oh yeah, our halbs have a lot of attack. It's like we have Garland Wars halbs. Oh, you guys aren't Imperial Age. I thought you were. Fire Towers, my favorite! I love Fire Towers! Uh, T. And these guys are 80 food soap. Same cost as a Hussar. Why are you guys stuck? Oh my god. Duh. Well, we have some fun new units here, and I like how we're playing a, a slightly offbeat version of the uh, Slavs. Like, I, d I don't think we get Druzhina, but like we have a new unique unit, we have some new unique techs. And I've said this before, but I feel like in campaign, like custom campaigns, I much prefer it if it's a unique take on a civilization. Whether it be completely made up like uh, Jacqueline's uh, Croats, or slightly offbeat like this one, where it's, you know, sort of slobs, but, oh, well, oh, magic, uh, but not completely. I think that uh, it, it just makes it a more fun experience for me, at least playing. I don't know if it matters for you guys. As far as I know, you guys just like watching me lose. <laughs> as far as I know, that, that's all you guys care about, just watching me die or fail at something. Uh, you can go ahead over there. Um, yeah, I don't know what all that's gonna be about. But hey, uh, Blue seems to be helping us out a lot, and they're playing as the Serbs as well. Oh, it even says we're the Serbs. The Doubts. Oh, here's our trip. Dang, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, we are facing boyars. Not too sure what these Wallachians... Oh, it even says they're the Wallachians instead of the Slavs. That's cool. Because as much like representation as, you know, Southeastern Europe has gotten, or just Eastern Europe in general, it's like <laughs> everything's so complex over here in the Balkans. And, like, I personally don't think we really need a Serb Civ... Maybe of Loxiv because they aren't actually Slavic. But it's, it's almost like it, it would be believable if they added it, right? You're making headway. Yeah, like, I just don't want to deal with that. Oh. 
I never got prepared. Uh, okay, the other castle's over that away, but we need to be sniping production and all that. You guys are stone miners. I'm gonna re hotkey these castles to just be the close ones. Oh my god, everyone's getting stuck. This is why we have the select all military hotkey. Oh my god, why is everyone stuck? Is, are you the reason? Come on, man. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have the last attack that Bracer gives us. Uh, yeah, he's planning to break through the mountain pass. Gonna hold him off at the pass. Just like it's a western. That's what they do in westerns, right? They hold him off at the pass. I'm not really a western kind of guy. Our castle's gone. Now what? Um, uh, okay. That is one step forward. You guys have siege onagers. I don't like that. Um, oh, we can train free elite Kipchaks from Cuban mercenaries, but, um, Slav Cav archers are terrible. So we're not going to do that, because why would we? <laughs> it's not like I'm super short on resources right now. I can kind of be, uh, I'm, I'm in a position where I can be picky and choosy. Oh, where are you clowns going? I don't know. Take down, take down that thing. Oh, here's the Pergia Castle. Um. I guess they have villagers somewhere. Oh, did all this stuff go over to the Bulgarians? I guess the Wallachians just kind of bailed. Stronghold has been acquired! Maybe you'll surpass me in the future. Maybe I will! Maybe I'm awesome like them. Okay. These guys have nine pierce armor. And six melee armor. So they have even a little bit more melee armor. And way more pierce armor than regular Paladin. I mean, they have less HP. It's almost like they're a Pierce Armor Boyar, but also with the latest ability to ignore attacks. Kind of neato. The, the Jupons are actually fairly balanced looking. Compared to a Hussar, you have 25 less HP, but 16 attack instead of 11, so 5 more attack. 
I mean, obviously the model is a Magyar Hussar, but... Oh yeah, it also has the bonus versus Siege. That wouldn't be battles for multiplayer. <laughs> Lol. something. You can repair Trebs! But now we have strongholds in, I don't see how we can lose! You've got to be kidding me. This is where the not having a ton of room thing becomes an issue. Because it'd be great if I had some more space. Uh, why am I still adding in bills? I'm such a dumb dumb. The Vlastella. These units look super cool. I think it's the Keshtutis icon. Or like the unit model is, is Keshtutis, but without the little hero glow. And obviously the... Uh, L the latest is the uh, the icon, but uh, I figured you guys would have known that. Anyway, our army looks sufficiently overpowered. Only onagers, what nubs? And it's the Bulgarian Navy. I'm supposed to be afraid of the Bulgarian Navy? It's like one of the worst navies out there. Oh my god, this guy has an awesome chariot. Like, uh, that one dude from Evilo 1. Keep on pressing forward here. I think we're doing all right. I mean, we have a 10 bajillion units in the queue. Um, I want to find some vills. Not oh, lumberjacks. I guess we'll just take some of these farmers. Kind of a long way for them to go, but better safe than sorry. Just continue to pick off these buildings, make that a priority, of course. Um, we can, I think, just make you guys the castles on the hotkey group. Just so that I'm not reinforcing units from, like, all the way over here. I mean, my barracks are, like, all the way over here, but... Again, space is a bit limited. I don't know. Mine's done over here. Bulgarian Paladins, what is this, 2019? Oh, boy.
Oh yeah, those guys definitely have the Magyar Hussar bonus versus Siege. Man, these guys look so awesome with their, uh, their Kestutus icon, model, whatever. Oh yeah, we also get gold for mining stone, like poles, I forgot. Oh, with all the stone that's on the map, and I imagine what will be in subsequent scenarios, like, this shouldn't be an issue. We have no way out! Follow my orders and clear the enemy in front of us. He, I mean, he has like a bajillion stats. And I think he does- yeah, oh my god, he does trample damage. Well, I mean, the armor thing we can ignore. Or no, it has armor stripping abilities. Yeah, oh, they're Obuk. Oh. Oh, that's fine. And now we just need to destroy the castle. Do I have crenellations now? No. Oh my god. Wait, you have a Bulgarian archers. Pog. Bulgarian champions? Now that was never a thing as far as I know. Not like uh, Malian paladins or whatever. That was apparently a thing for a little bit. Anyway, this should be it. The Pergia Castle. Anyway, fun intro scenario. I mean, obviously it's a big, boomy, post-imp build and destroy scenario, but that's what a lot of these are. Oh, where did the arrogance of the Bulgarians go? Uh, my son did not disappoint me this time. When Michael Shishman dies, the Bulgarian army is a mess. Uh, yeah, something. The text goes a little too fast for me to read. Uh, that's how the young His Majesty Dushan cut off the head of the Bulgarian Tsar on the battlefield, and the rest of the Bulgarian army ran away. The Serbian army invaded the Macedonia area in one go. The Bulgarians were forced to send envoys to ask for peace, and the, even the Emperor of the Romans was scared to cease all activities. No, you are wrong. Emperor, Ger Emperor Androniko stopped attacking Serbia not out of cowardice, but out of wisdom. I do, however, hear about Stefan Dushan's great deeds, like what he did to his father. His Majesty Stefan is just defending his rightful power. Isn't he worthy of a crown for his credit? Whatever you say, the old man laughed. Please sit down first. I think we can have a good chat. Now I can tell you uh, what I know about Stefan Dushan. Oh boy. Anyway, pretty good, KD. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Eleven castles, not bad. Of course, freaking Stefan Urosh taken my relic in the beginning, the jerk. And there's a relic over here. Wasn't there a relic like in a uh, island? Yeah, there's a relic over there. That wasn't really ever an issue. Blue space to the west, looking fine. I mean, I'm sure it was much easier when we took this area early on. Uh, Velbaz. Yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Anyway, guys, that was Velbaz. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.